What's going on guys? Corey from TZ Nation 87. On a 1987 Iraq ZL1 supercharged, I must say. Coming later. So on a 2000 Mustang that is going to have a super snake engine in it. Like and comment down below. Give me a favor. Just smash that thumbs up button right now anyway. Hit the subscribe button. Not only for me. That subscribe button for my girlfriend as well. Both of our channels are down in the links below. Subscribe to Dragon, subscribe to my gaming channel. All down in the links below. Today, we have got a new up, we got a despite of all the stuff that's going on and all that stuff, we actually have a raid that I'm not going to install, but I'm going to reveal. Install, I uh, actually do have some parts to install, but that will be this video. But first, before I re reveal those parts, I believe that happened. Like I said, sometimes the video might be in the air. Sometimes the car might be in it. Like I said, last video, that's uh, how, that's how it is right now. So I can't believe that actually happened. I really think about the rear end, the front and the rear end. Well, first and foremost, PCM is coming, by the way. Early car, by the way. A little bit, then sell it and get another one. So yeah, that's in here. Let me show you what we have in store today. All right? So let me show you guys what I have. I got the box. And anybody that's in this box. Yeah, I know. Get y'all somewhere else. You gotta figure out what things are in this box. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you. It's in here. How things is going and how, since I said this is a track though, like I am going to need things to track, I am going to need things to do this and stuff like that. So this is one of the last pieces of stage three. By the way, the supercharger 6.2 will be stage four, by the way. I already planned, that's why I was talking about nine stages. I've already planned that a long time ago. If you see, if you watch a couple of videos back, maybe about a hundred videos back, and I said like it, I was at stage one out of nine. Well, this is stage three out of nine. Supercharger 6.2 would be stage four out of nine. Without further ado, let me show you. I don't know you guys are tired of me talking about it. Yeah, so was it. See, I have to open, bother to open this up. Is anybody say suspension on? Feels like, my, feels like my Christmas, right? Every time you open a new part, it feels like Christmas. <laughs> I will pick up all this stuff later. See this stuff. QA1. What is it? Well, I'm going to show you right now. piece it goes across in here it goes across there like that so it goes it literally goes across like that it's to help out with the suspension and the handling take a piece we'll get this extra piece out here no I think that's just that one piece and the handles and you want stickers plus five horsepower I bought it from So from performance, edit all that stuff out so you guys can't see the name. The drive shaft, it's right there, the stock drive shaft. So this, I'll let you know how it goes, how it all goes down. Be a lot better if I just do it with the knife. Okay. Right, see, I should do it with the knife for the first time. 
stay a lot easier. This is the two things that goes across. So basically how this goes, I'm gonna show you. One part goes here and one part goes there. So you have this on top. One part goes there and one part goes there. And you have that one on top. So these, use a knife again. Open up the front again. one see as you can see it comes with the bolts nuts screws and everything else there but this this is the handle part so it lifts it up because it goes attached like this and it lifts it up looking at it like this it goes right here it goes across like this it's hard to pick up it goes across like so and it's right there I have total clearance we have clear through the scimitar coming up. Yeah, right there. So you can see it goes right there and it goes right there. I gotta get something to drill in. I won't do it this episode, but it'll be in the next episode. But I'm gonna take up, actually, I'm gonna take this out here and I'm gonna show you guys. So as you guys see, it is the strut tower brace. So when I want to make my turning the right good, it's one of the first pieces of the suspension parts that I actually need. So I have, but there's more pieces, more pieces that I actually got to fabricate and actually, yeah, I got to fabricate on my own, but that's how this part goes. And I will show you what I mean in a second. I'm going to show you more pieces. What you guys are witnessing are the last pieces of stage three. Of course, goes in another car. And I'm not on value, so I have to actually get it bonded the right way. Yeah, no. I'm not editing that out. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm not editing. I'm not editing that out, guys. You want to edit that out? Okay. 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 I'm not editing out guys. Anyway, guys, this is the part that goes in the back. So when I make turns, this will allow me to make turns since it's in the back. Any corner that's like a 60 miles an hour, I can, well, any corner that's like 25 miles an hour, I can take about 70, like 60, 70. There's also suspension work that I'm gonna be doing later on. It comes well, so that with chances, because it is a pro touring build, it will be going around the track. It's not a straight line car. First and foremost, it is definitely not a straight line car. It is a car that's going around corners, bends, corner, uh, corners, bends, turns, S turns, hairpins, drifting, anything dealing with angles and turning. Like I told you, I gave you the um, one through five of, of what it's going to be built based on the build it's going to be based upon. And sorry, my camera looks like it's tilting. There we go. That's gonna go in the back. This is, this is also gonna get welded. Now remind you, this is like really strong metal. It's actually going to go across here. And this is actually going to be my crash, crash bar. I'm going to get more than just one of them. I will have about maybe about three of them. But this is going to be my crash bar, which is gonna go across here. That's why I had, that's why a long time ago, when I removed that thing up, in case anybody was like, well, now nah, he doesn't have anything in case somebody hits him. I'm letting you know now, that's the one thing that I looked at that I have to get welded onto there. There's a couple of things that I'm gonna get welded. There's actually, how I wanna do this is how, 
has it here. I have one, I'm gonna have three here. I want one going like underneath there from that connecting to the three there. And then I want one here, well, one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the top and one at the bottom. You gotta customize it so it doesn't interfere with the wheel and it's turning in the space. But that's what I have. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So, a special shout out to Q1A. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for getting this uh, Q1 out. Q, QA1 and performance suspension. Both of, their, both of their links will be down in the description down below. Yeah. That one, like I said, I'm going to send them out of value. Uh, my friend, long time ago, um, his name is Kyle. I won't describe, I won't discur just, uh, put out his last name, but his last name is, I mean, his first name is Kyle. And he had gave me that when I had a different type of car. In order to make that work, I already asked. In order to make that work, I first have to get some fabrication done to it. And I want to put that on there because that part, that piece right there has sentimental value. He had passed away in a car accident. I'll put it to you that way. And I always promised him, like, I got, I promised him like I'd keep that part, I wouldn't sell it. He, this is like, he just gave it to me for 60 years, like technically it's this much, but I'll cut you a bill, I'll cut you a deal if you keep this part and get the value part that I'm gonna put on the car. And just know that Kyle, I still love and miss you, bro. Eric, hopefully you're watching this. Cause He's gonna be on his, his part. He's gonna be on the car. So you guys enjoy what I have, and special shout out to Q1L and QA1. I don't know why I keep saying other names. That's what that part is there for. So I have everything and get it situated. As you can see, is I got a drill there. I'm not gonna drill there. As soon as I have a drill that I can drill, and actually have the bolts and actually can pull them through, and actually can install this but i won't install it just yet for another video i wanted to talk about this first but as you can see if it doesn't move it comes right there clears everything but i don't want to move anything because every time i keep moving it it keeps it keeps moving i think what i got and that that's that's pretty much it <laughs> I hope you guys subscribe because like I said, I have that part coming in. Well, well, that part's there and I have that stuff. As soon as I get the finalization on like everything there, that I can get some, I can do this, finish the lines and have the hydraulic clutch. As soon as I get the new PCM, then I can finish this and drill a hole in there and I can cut and I can mount that up right. And that since, I have the stuff, I have all the tools that I need there and I can actually do it with those stuff. So I wanna make sure that I do that. This part actually goes in the back. When I'm talking about the back spot right there and there's a spot right there where I can just lay it across. Not to mention guys, this car is going to get repainted. So guys, you can chill out in the comments. That's how that part will go. Well, it'll be on the other side, right? That part will help out with the back part will help out with the back back here with it being right as well as the, this will help out with the front install that just yet three bars in the front for the crash bar one two three and four to help out with the stiffness it's also going to be it's like a little mini roll cage in here which is going to be a eight point roll cage in there so it's going to be customly built and it's, it's gonna look this car is gonna look great hope you guys like the video please comment down below tell me what do you like what tell me what didn't you like about the video what are your what are your opinions on the video what like just tell me catch me up film me and i need to know what would you do differently what would you change because honestly this build is really 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 looking great I gotta take a top picture right here. Like I said, this build is really starting to come together the way that I envisioned it. And with the 6.2 coming with the supercharger, oh man. 
This is gonna be lovely. It's gonna be lovely, guys. They're doing yard work over there. They're actually building stuff back there. They're actually, I think, working on a pipe back there. It's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Just watching this, pretty interesting. I get that uh, operates that tractor. She thinks my sex tractor sexy. It really turns it on. Anyway, guys, I'm not playing around. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys like everything. I'm um, showing off you guys. This, this is the end. The stage three. This is the actual last part of stage three. Stage four still begins with the engine. No, it's not the 6.2. It, 6.2 is in it. 6.2 is kind of like the far end of stage four. But there's still a lot of stuff that is in stage four that I'm gonna do. So with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please comment, like, subscribe, and Facebook. Oh, all my social media is down in the links below. Facebook, Instagram, TZ Nation 87, I rock TZ Nation 87. Please follow my girlfriend's channel. Please follow Dragon ZL One's channel. Please follow my gaming channel. Please subscribe to all of them. What's what? What video would? would what would bore you in one video would bore you in another video. So I'm giving, giving you everything. I don't want to just throw everything in one, in one uh, YouTube channel. So I separated each YouTube channel individually so it's neat, organized, so you guys can actually enjoy it. Anyway, guys, with that being said, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Hit that notification button. Please subscribe. All of my social media is down in the links below. Take care. Keep God in your heart, first and foremost. Always without God, none of this stuff and this life will be possible. Keep it T Z all the way to the end, guys. Take care and have a great day. Bye!